Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 18th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather and anything else affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at Lasco 2 as SDO is down. So instead of stunning sun imagery, we get stunning yet another CME injury, uh, imagery. So just observing here from three days ago, we had that large CME erupt. And then just today, we had another one. And there is missing images here on Lasco and SDO is down. So I'm wondering what is up? We are being affected by some intense space weather right now as well. Looking at the real time solar wind steady 563 kilometers per second. And it did spike up to 654. And looking at a big flip-flop phi angle. And here it is on the magnetosphere plot. Have a look at our solar winds. Planetary K index was up to six, or sorry, five two days ago, and is still on elevated levels. Looking here at the annual solar wind prediction, and you can see we are in the middle of that coronal wind stream right now. Have a look at the Schumann resonance, and it is showing here as well a power of 65, a very large spike today. And I've still got the sinus headache. It's up and down. So a power of 65, a quality power of 17 for a Schumann resonance for today. And that'll reflect here with earthquakes. Most recently here, a 4.4 in Mexico along the Caribbean plate. As well, seismicity decreasing through Puerto Rico, only seeing a 2.5 today. A 2.5 reported there in Oklahoma as well. Snyder, Texas, a 3.1. Lincoln, Montana, 2.7. Quiet throughout the North American plate today. Increased seismicity through Alaska. We did start the day with a very sizable 5.8 in Iran, but also a 5.8 rang out in Taiwan today. Seeing some deep earthquakes throughout Indonesia as well. Tobilo. Two hundred and sixty seven kilometer depth as well through the Fiji region and Kermadex, New Zealand, seeing a five point two today, Fiji Islands four point eight, four point nine, and as well a four point five at a five hundred and seventy four kilometer depth. So that happened before that large five point eight in Iran this morning. Also a 5.2 here in Myanmar. Quite a few aftershocks throughout Iran and did show some footage there of landmass shifting. Big clouds of dust on the mountainsides. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. Many buildings and structures are destroyed from that large 5.8 earthquake. As well a 4.3 here to report in Greece. One lonely 4.6 here, Argentina, or no, yeah, Argentina, northern Argentina. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, very busy. 
looking at just under 300, but very sizable earthquakes today. A lot of people feeling the pulse of the earth as we are bursting at the seams from the sunbeams. Looking here the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Seeing some increased activity through the Indian plate and African plate. Quiet through North America. Seismicity coming back to the Kermit X. Too quiet through North America. And we do still have ongoing eruptions at Sufri. Here is the latest video from today's eruption on April 18th. More people evacuating the islands. And this big cloud of ash and dust is heading westward. Literally, there are people cleaning up their roofs. They're cleaning up everything as it has been covered in ash. There's almost four inches of ash here on the roof. And I'm sure that they will be cleaning this up for a long time. I really hope they don't get rain because this stuff turns into concrete. So again, thoughts of prayers going out to everybody affected and working hard to clean up after large Sufri volcano eruption. Just having a quick look here on Noah, showing the eruption from this morning. And the dust cloud heading westward. So you can see they did put out an alert here. It's been 52 hours since the last eruption, and there's been 30 eruptions since it started. So let's have a look here at Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes, of course, Sufri, St. Vincent, Simaru, Indonesia. Dokono, Indonesia, as well, Reventador in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangue in Ecuador, Era in Japan, Sinabung, Indonesia, Luatolo, Indonesia, and Fuego, Guatemala, Semis Napoichnoi, United States, Aleutian Islands, Pacaya, Guatemala. So that's about 16 volcanoes being updated today, and we're still looking at 41 active and erupting. And these were my scenes this morning as I ventured outside, and it was minus 3 degrees Celsius and a nice fresh layer of snow, which is going to melt quick. But there's more in the forecast, folks. Just wanted to share with you my view here in Calgary. Quick look here at typhoon super typhoon surrogate as it is now a category 4 typhoon and will not make landfall thank god so let's have a look here five day forecast brought to you by meteor earth meteor mike starting out here in home base calgary alberta as yeah you can see this temperature swing is going to continue for the next couple of weeks really the long range forecast showing another cold high pressure ridge moving in and more snow. So let's have a quick look here. High pressure ridge is moving in. It's going to scoot the, the snow southward and eastward. But then watch as that another high pressure ridge moves in. Gets locked and loaded with this low pressure system. In the center of the country. So definitely going to see some snow here through southern Alberta in the long-range forecast Thursday to Friday. As well, that big system that is leaving us is going to be heading into Ontario this week and will bring some pretty intense weather there as well into the Atlantic provinces. Mixed bag of precipitation really for the Atlantic provinces as it scoots up a lot of moisture from the coastline. But yeah, very interesting transition here into spring if we get to spring at all. Long line of moisture here going to affect Florida for the next couple days. But no major severe weather to talk about. Normally we are dealing with a lot of tornado warnings throughout the United States. 
big high pressure ridge here keeping things dry still along the west coast and through Alaska overlooking South America no major weather systems except for daily evaporation rain heavier through Colombia this week could see some heavy amounts and as well through Argentina a low pressure system here that is going to bring some thunderstorms and some extreme weather as well Argentina Chile border lots of rain developing across the equator stay tuned for more detailed video on that big low pressure system here spinning off the coast of Madagascar could develop into a tropical storm by the hit by the time it hits the coastline but still very interesting systems the way they're moving north and south instead of east and west and the same thing is happening through Europe. High pressure ridge over United Kingdom, keeping things dry. Low pressure system heading into Spain this week and Portugal. Big low pressure system through the Mediterranean, heading up into Eastern Europe. And then, yeah, scooting northward and joining forces with more low pressure systems. Rain continues through China pretty much daily for the next five days big low pressure system here developing in the long range again I think we're going to see a very vigorous typhoon season here is the forecast of typhoon Sirige and it looks like it's just going to like rain bands graze the parts of Luzon but it will be heading out into the West Pacific Daily evaporation rains through Micronesia and Papua New Guinea. Some rain moving into northeastern parts of Australia. But still high pressure ridge locked in, keeping things dry. Still continuing low heading into New Zealand for this week. And the Hawaiian Islands, you could see some rain this week as well. Low pressure system may scoot some moisture your way. But big. Strong high pressure ridge keeping things dry in the Pacific. Have a quick look here at the way our Pacific is behaving. See the way that low pressure system headed straight south. Very interesting. Overlooking the Atlantic. Still large and vigorous systems forming in both of our largest oceans going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern interesting lows interesting new forecast for our ever-changing planet thanks for watching today thanks for hitting that like button and thanks for subscribing can we get a thousand likes on this video much love to you all stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye, -bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.